What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 50th Jailbreak Update episode and today we have a lot to talk about, some good and some bad. So in the last episode we talked about the potential for an iOS 11.2 jailbreak but in this episode we're going to go back to a jailbreak that's already established and already released with the Electra jailbreak iOS 11 through 11.1.2 jailbreak. We're going to be talking all about that and the drama surrounding it. So of course I did expect episode 50 to be a pretty exciting episode and to have a lot of good news in it and you know because we did expect the Electra, the final version of Electra to be released with Cydia but unfortunately that has still not been released. So now let's discuss why that is. Now, if you're new here and you still aren't up to speed on this jailbreak, basically Electra is Coolstar's iOS 11 through 11.1.2 jailbreak for all 64-bit devices that includes a substrate alternative and also allows it to install tweaks and themes, which I did make a video on, so you can check that out in the cards in the description if you did miss that. However, this jailbreak does not come with Cydia included. Now, of course, we do know for sure that Cydia is coming to Electra because Coolstar tweeted out and multiple people that are working on Electra, multiple developers that are working on have shown that Cydia is in fact working on 11.1.2 perfectly fine. Now last week Coolstar released Electra RC1 which is release candidate one to select tweak developers out there who contacted him saying that they're developers you know proving that they are developers and he gave them that private copy of this RC1 release of Electra with Cydia included. Now that sounds fine right of course Coolstar is going to do this so they can get their tweaks updated you know everything could be updated when this version gets released when the final version of Electra gets released. Well leave it to the impatient and the immature people of the community some people were impersonating developers acting like they were developers to get this IPA from Coolstar and then leave it. That's right. So some people did pretend to be a developer and got a copy of this IPA, this RC1 release of Electra with Cydia. And then obviously it got out there on Twitter and some websites and people were just basically throwing around the link to this release. So of course, when anything like this gets leaked, of course the developer is going to be mad. So Coolstar did get very mad and he, you know, he took it out on Twitter. He said that basically if you install this pirated version of Electra, you're basically not going to be able to update to the final build very easily. And basically there was a lot of other small drama going on, but anyways, eventually Coolstar did end up deactivating his Twitter account. You can see right here that his Twitter account no longer exists and of course this is due to the drama surrounding the leaks and just so many people asking for an ETA and things like that. Now of course Coolstar is going to be back on Twitter. I have no doubt about that. He's basically just deactivating it to take a break from all the drama, all the negativity and things like that. Some people may say that this is stirring up more drama by deleting his account and things like that but you know we're just going to say that he's deactivating his account to get away from all the negativity right now and he will be back very soon. Now Coolstar even said that he's doing all this just because it's fun and and, you know, when all the negativity and all the win ETA kids on Twitter, you know, basically harass him and just nag him all the time on Twitter and not just him, all the people working on Electra as well, it takes the fun out of it. It makes it just not even fun for him to do anymore. And if that sounds familiar, it's because it is. It's exactly what happened with Sorek. It's exactly what happened with uh, Luca Tedesco. And it's going to happen again and again in the future if the community continues to behave this way, which is so unfortunate. So if you are one of these people on Twitter that nags at developers like Coolstar, if you just leave negative comments or just ask really dumb, obvious questions, please stop. You are the biggest problem with this community right now. You asking these questions that have already been answered before and just posting negative comments is just going to delay jailbreaks or anything else in the future that may be coming. This is a big reason that Pengu and Sorek and people like that do everything in private. That way they don't have people nagging them nonstop. So again, if you are one of these people, please stop doing it immediately. You make the whole community look bad. Now, since Coolstar did deactivate his Twitter account and all that, does that mean we're not going to be getting the final release of Electro with Cydia? No. Nullpixel, who is one of the developers helping with Electra tweeted this out earlier this week. Electra will be finished, hopefully with Coolstar. It will still be finished without him, but we'd rather finish it with him. And then he followed up by saying, looks like we will be finishing it with Coolstar after all. So that is good news, and we will be getting the final release of Electra with Cydia, but of course it has been slightly delayed due to all the harassment and all the negativity going on on social media. Hopefully everyone calms down and we get this pretty soon, but just don't install the leaked version of Electra, whatever you do. Now, ever since Coolstar deactivated his Twitter account, there have been people impersonating him along with Sorek on Twitter. So if you see any of these fake accounts on Twitter, definitely do not fall for anything that they're tweeting out. Obviously, for one, Coolstar is not on Twitter. So if you see anything on Twitter talking about Coolstar, obviously it's fake because he's not on Twitter right now. And two, Sorek doesn't even tweet that much at all. So if you see anything from Sorek, it's most likely fake since he does not tweet at all. He definitely doesn't really reply to people at all. Now, speaking of Sorek, he actually posted on Reddit last week for the first time in a while. And this was in response to an error that everybody was getting with City Impactor 
last week. And he responded with good news followed by bad news. You can see here that he said that he pushed an update to fix that impactor error, but then he continued to say that he currently has a 100.1 degree fever and is feeling awful. So hopefully Sork does get feeling better soon because we're all waiting to see what he's going to release with that mystery developer he's working with, which we did talk about in previous episodes. And now let's finish this video off with some good news. So the developer of iCleaner tweeted this out, finally had the chance to test iCleaner Pro 7.70 Beta 1 on Electra RC3. After a few adjustments to the package and installed binaries, I now have the app running in its entirety. I'll be able to roll out a public beta soon, so watch this space. So this is obviously awesome to hear since iCleaner is a must-have application on any jailbroker device. It's definitely one of the first things I install and I always encourage you guys to install as well. So definitely can't wait for a public beta to be rolled out for iCleaner. So anyways guys, that's pretty much where we stand with the Electra jailbreak with the iOS 11 through 11.1.2 jailbreak right now. Unfortunately, it's not all good news, but we will eventually get there. Of course, you guys know I will be bringing you a video when that does get released, when the final version of Electra with Cydia does get released. So definitely make sure to subscribe and have those notifications turned on. And of course, make sure to follow me on Twitter if you are not already. I post updates there a lot quicker since it doesn't take as much time to type it as it does to make a full video. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below with your thoughts on this whole situation. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.